With uncertainties around finance and health, children already at risk are all that much more vulnerable. The Rebound Arizona's Sonu Wasu explains how a Valley nonprofit is taking care of a big need, hunger, and how you can help. We service typically up to 270 children a day when we're open. And right now, we are serving them breakfast and lunch curbside, of course. But the nonprofit quickly learned many of the families they served had nothing to eat for dinner on some nights. The poverty level of the children and the families that we're serving, it's 100% to 200%. Since the pandemic, Child Crisis Arizona has partnered with local businesses to help feed not just hungry children in their care, but also their families. Because if we can't take care of the parents, how are they gonna take care of the children? When COVID-19 shut down early education programming and in-home visits with foster families, staff at Child Help Arizona needed to find another way to serve this community very quickly. And they tell me they can just see the gratitude, sometimes tears in the eyes of the families who show up. There's a grandmother that comes and she's responsible for all of the children and her family and she comes with them and literally she is in tears and thanking us. But with donations down, every week the worry, will we have enough to feed these families next week? I'm told it costs $2,500 a week to feed all of their families. To find out how you can help these children, just head on over to abc15.com slash news slash rebound. Sonu Wasu, ABC 15, Arizona.